Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys a very underrated MCP server, as well as a tool that helps you check your cloud code usage. And I've spoken a lot on this channel about different MCP servers, tools, and processes that are very useful in coding and vibe coding, like Context 7, Sequential Thinking, Desktop Commander, Taskmaster, and I think this is just as useful, the Serena MCP server. And lately I've been using cloud code and cursor simultaneously. I'm on the $20 cloud code pro plan and the $20 cursor plan. And because both of them have different features, usage and rate limits, I switch between the two frequently. And I might just unsubscribe from one of them, cursor. But right now we're just gonna talk about cloud code. I know I'm not the only person that gets very frustrated with Claude's rate limits. Since we've been able to use the Claude Pro plan within Cloud Code, I'm using it a lot more. When you're using Cloud Code with a subscription, either Pro or Max, you don't really get to understand your token usage. But there's this is a really great tool called Cloud Code Usage Analysis, also known as Cousage Sausage. Anyways, basically what it does is it looks at your JSON-L files, which are files stored on the computer you're using Cloud Code on, and it tries to calculate your token usage based on your subscription plan. It's probably not fully accurate, but it's nice to get some transparency, or at least have the illusion of some transparency to understand how much tokens we're using. So if you look at their GitHub, it looks for your JSON-L files, and it can break it down on a daily basis. What models you're using, your input tokens, your output tokens, and pretty much tell you how much you're spending per day, more or less. Now, the MCP server I'm talking about is Serena, which stands for Semantic Retrieval and Editing Noetic Agent. And essentially, Serena is a powerful coding agent capable of turning any LLM into a fully featured agent that works directly on your code base. So you might be saying, well, that's what Cursor does, WinServe, Cloud Code. Yes, but same, same, but different. Now, Serena is great for many things. I'm using it to save tokens in Cloud Code. And one of the reasons I've been using Cloud Code over Cloud Desktop lately is because it has these really great built-in features, specifically the plan feature, the compact feature, and the clear feature. And this pretty much allows me to do the same thing as I was doing in Cloud Desktop, but mitigate context. And also, I don't have to use Desktop Commander or Taskmaster because it's able to read and write and plan. That being said, I still use plenty of Cloud Desktop and Cloud on iOS. And Serena is based on LSP, the language server protocol. And all IDEs use LSP to a certain degree, but Serena seems to do it a bit better. Essentially what Serena does is it indexes your whole code base and then feeds the proper context to Claude code or cursor or Claude desktop or whatever you're using it with. And therefore it's not just sending irrelevant pieces of code and then eating into your usage. And you can only imagine the bigger a code base is, the more powerful Serena becomes. So I've been using Serena and Sasusage, Sasusage, simultaneously, and without a doubt, Claude Code is getting fed less tokens. Now some quick caveats with Serena. I've had mixed success with it. It is worth going through the whole Serena GitHub and understanding how to configure it correctly. Sometimes I'll find that Serena properly passes my prompt and my context to Claude Code, but other times I've also seen Serena try and write the code and modify it all completely itself. So you have to pay attention. You have to configure it correctly. Now you can install Serena multiple ways. Essentially Serena runs independently, but you could connect it via MCP. You can connect it via Agno. I've also seen it used with Google's ADK and I'll drop links to both Serena and the CC usage GitHub pages in the description below. Since Serena's tools allow an LLM to close the cognitive perception action loop, agents based on Serena can autonomously carry out coding tasks from start to finish from the initial analysis to implementation, testing, and finally version control commit. So basically it acts as a middleman between you, your computer, and then Claude Code. And again, you could use this in Claude Desktop, Claude Code, Cursor, pretty much anywhere. My main use case for it right now is just mitigating the Claude usage limits. And I try really hard to make sure that it doesn't replace Claude Code. It just properly manages the context. Serena will start a web-based dashboard on localhost that will display the logs. I'll show that to you right now. So I use Claude Code and Serena on a different user. This is my personal user, but I'm gonna open up a project and we're just gonna run it right here. Here's my YouTube studio MCB server. It doesn't really matter. I just wanna show you how it works. First things first, we're gonna install Sususage. I actually have Sususage already installed on this user. And what I use to test it out is Sususage blocks live. So let's copy this. Let's go to cursor. Start this guy running. There's no active session running, that's fine. Now let's start another terminal. Okay, so we're just gonna use this Cloud Code installation. We're just gonna copy it right here. Cloud MCP at Serena from UVX. And we're gonna put it into the actual project. So let's paste this in. So now let's turn on Cloud Code and let's see which MCP servers are running. So let's do slash MCP. And the only MCP server running is Serena. That's the one we just added. Okay, and just like it said, it opened up a Serena dashboard. Now Serena is running in local host and you can see what's happening here. You can see all its tools. Very cool. In Serena's GitHub, it says ask Cloud Code to read the initial instructions. So let's just do that. Let's say read the initial instructions. 
creates its own dot serena directory with its own memories which is really cool and its own project.yaml file so we're seeing a similar pattern with everything with cursor rules with claw.md with codex.md i've also found that because serena uses semantic as well as symbolic search and it has a context that instead of creating new files it will find and edit the proper function instead of just creating a new one and that really helps with debugging and just getting better code along the way so now i just want to show you cc usage and the live token usage monitor according to this i've only used 13 tokens my burn rate is 27 tokens per minute and my projected track is to use 52 dollars in the next three hours the bottom line is I've been using this live token usage monitor as well as its total breakdown of how many tokens I've been using with Cloud Code with Serena, without Serena. And it looks to me like I'm using less tokens with Serena. On top of that, I'm not hitting the rate limits as fast. Keep in mind, I'm using Cloud Code on the pro plan, which means I'm using Cloud Sonnet. Anyways, Serena is really cool. It's really powerful. There's so much more you can do with it. I just wanted to introduce it to you and also show you Cloud Code usage. So that's it for today. I hope this video helps you in your development tasks. You learned about a really cool new MCB server and also how to mitigate and save those tokens. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. It really helps me grow. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.